Okay, so let's learn how we can loop particles for longer animation. And I'm also going to show you how you can influence these particles with using uh, a wind effect or a force field if you want. So I'm just going to delete everything here from my scene and then bring in a plane and scale up this plane five times. And then I'm going to go to particle properties, click this plus icon, scroll all the way down and go into field weights and turn the gravity to nothing. So now we will have the uh, particles coming upwards instead of going down. So the settings here that you need to um, focus on to be able to loop particles are this frame start, the end and the lifetime. So if we just bring up the timeline and double up or end here to 500, because we're going to have a 500 long animation. And if you go control and T, you can see that 500 frames with a frame rate of 24 frames per second is about 20 seconds long. So now we can go to the frame start here. And the key here is to start off this uh, looping mechanism before the timeline. So if we set this frame start number to minus 250, and then we want it to end in the middle because later on we're going to overlap it with a second particle system. So let's set the end to 250 and we're also going to set the lifetime to 250. And this lifetime is for how long this particle emitter is going to create particles. So um, if I just zoom out a little bit here and go to frame 250, you can see now that a particle emitter stops creating particles at the exactly frame 250. And here we have some weird stuff going on. So when you're using particle system, stuff like this uh, seems to happen very often. And a nice little trick here is to, um, um, so I'm trying to reset this particle system and it doesn't work. So, but if you go to the number here, you can set the number down like that. You can see it jumps back into position. So if uh, same stuff happening to you, just go to the number and uh, reset it with just uh, clicking a different number. So, okay, let's uh, continue here. So we're going to overlap this particle system with a second particle system. So let's just go and click this down button and go duplicate particle system. Select the second one. And here is really important to remember to click this icon so that we have two particle systems with the same settings but they are different so now we can go to the second one here and since we're going to overlap it we want this frame start to be starting at 250 and uh, the little key trick here if you're working with a different number of frames remember that at the second particle system you want to multiply the frame start with three so we want to multiply this uh, number with 3, so 250 uh, times uh, 3 is uh, 750. I'm not really good at math at all, but uh, still remember something from going to school. So that is good. And if we set this um, lifetime, that's just going to stay at 250. So now we just move our cursor here. You can see that we have a perfect loop of particles. So the next step here, and this is going to be a little bit um, difficult probably, but that is to loop particles with a wind effect. When you're creating too much randomness into these particle systems, it's really hard to create a perfect loop. I'm just going to show you if you go to force fill and we're going to bring in, um, yeah, let's go for this turbulence. And if I bring it up, and maybe I also need a camera so we can box in this uh, view. So I'm just really quick gonna rotate and move this camera here around. Just jump into camera mode. So um, now we added this uh, turbulence here to create some wind effects. And if I move my cursor now this blue line all the way to the end. We can see that some of these particles are looping. 
and some of these particles i'm just going to take down the number of particles as well here so here i need to change this to 250 and also the second one to 250 so we can see what we are doing here so now if we go to the end we can see that some of them are looping and some of them are just doing their own thing just drifting off so um what i found that um some of this force field will work if you reset the particle system and uh, do some uh, uh, monkey business uh, so let me just go into the physics properties here and if i bring the strength down to 0 0.2 too. So I'm taking down the randomness of this force field, bring it to the end. You can see that it still doesn't loop. So let me uh, reset the number of uh, particles again. Not reset, but just change them like that. So this is definitely not the best commercial for particle systems. And uh... Okay, so another thing we can try to do here to fix this is go down to force field settings. I'm gonna check this box for self effect and I'm just gonna do effect amount 10. I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one self effect and then effect amount 10 and there we almost have a seamless yeah i think we actually managed to create a seamless loop there so you need to do some tricky tricks to make this work and reset the your particle system a bunch of times uh, but it's definitely possible to loop particles that not going only in a straight line but also moves a little bit from uh, place to place so if you learn something please uh, consider to subscribe have a great day and peace out